Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. It's Flames of Wartime, and we're painting a stug. We're using light brown, mahogany, and light green. And we're starting off with the light brown, and with this, we're going to be going all over the tank, or the assault gun, whatever you wish to call it. And um, we're not going with the precise colours used. It's not a historical game for me. It's a game. Get uh, my blue glove on first of all so I can keep the paint off my fingers. And let's get cracking, shall we? So, we've got the uh, paint in the airbrush and nothing's happening. So let's pop this down again and try and get the airbrush working. I'm still not 100% with this. I'm taking my time and hopefully trying to get it right. I think I've got it sorted so far uh, at the moment. So yes, I have. I can see a little bit of brown on the corner of the tank there. So let's go all over with this colour. It's a nice colour of uh, brown. It will do the job to um, make it look as though it's in a sandy area because it's uh, from the Fury pack, but it can be used alongside the um, Hit the Beach box that I've also got, as you may have noticed from the unboxing videos. Uh, I'm going to be using them together, so it's going to be a late war army I've got, going around Normandy and D-Day, that kind of thing. So, not Normandy with D-Day, is it? Normandy was earlier than that, but it's the, it's the D-Day time when we're doing this, hence the Hit the Beach campaign. So, we just have this one stug so far, so I'm doing this one first. And um, I must have run out of brown paint there. So I've just refilled the airbrush and trying to give a good coverage all over for this particular tank. I'm adding a little bit of white in with the light brown just to make it a little bit paler and we're going to shoot the paint right across the top of the stug um, just to give it that paler look to the top so a little bit of highlight you may have noticed from the uh, priming when the beginning of the video that it was done with a grey primer and then sprayed over from the top with white this is just emphasizing that somewhat. So now we're cleaning the airbrush uh, out and we are going to add some of the mahogany as you can see that was timed well. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be doing that and as I said this is not historically accurate markings this is just camouflage markings for my game. It doesn't necessarily have to be 100% accurate for my standard of gaming. I'm not going to be going to any um, World War II exhibitions or anything like that with these. I'm just going to be playing these at home. <laughs> so we've done the uh, mahogany colour now. It doesn't take long to do these camouflage patterns. It's just whip, whip, whip with the airbrush and that's done. So we're cleaning the airbrush out once more. And we're going to be carrying on with the light green. There we go, just to prove it. <laughs> and it's just a couple of little spot, well, a couple of drops of light green in the airbrush with some of the airbrush thinner and a few splats here and there just to break up the browns. And uh, trying to do it a similar kind of way to it look the way it looks on the box but again as I said it's not 100% um, if you're looking for 100% accuracy with any of these painting videos for Flames of War think again because it's not going to happen just as I say cleaning out the airbrush before we go any further with this 
I really need to get a hang of this and try and get it done quicker. Get things done moving a lot smoother. As I say, I'm still learning at this. This is just a, a very new thing for me, her brush use. So I'm not 100% confident with what I'm doing with it. But we're going into uh, army painting now and a mid-brown wash. And I'm applying this, as you may not be able to see, <laughs> because I've decided to put the, uh, put the tank off camera and focus instead on the pot or the plastic tub that I'm using for pallets. There we go, that's better. I'm putting this all over the tank. And I'm not sure whether you call this a tank or a gun or whatever. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have the movable turret, so I don't know whether it is classed as a tank or just an assault gun, but who cares? It's a nice looking, uh, nice looking kit. Now, even though in this video I show how I paint it, I haven't finished it towards the end of the video. It's done to a certain standard. I've ordered some of the uh, German decal sheets and I will be uh, coming back to this when those sheets have arrived to apply the decals and um, also to apply a little bit of weathering to it to make it look as though it has been, well, in the wars. Um, so uh, don't think it's actually finished at the end of this video because it won't be. So now we've applied the wash, what we really have to do before we can continue is wait for it to dry. So that's what we'll be doing. So join us when it's dry. So the wash has dried and we're getting the pot tub out again, nicely cleaned this time and into the tub we're going to be adding a little bit of the mahogany and into the mahogany we're going to add some white, or we're going to put some white in as well and mix them two together to make a, a paler colour because we just want to add a couple of little touches here and there like on this spade that is in the on the side of it and a couple of other areas uh, on the side of sides of the gun machine gun that's on the back and <coughs> and there's another area at the back which I decided to do but I did it off camera but I didn't like the way it looked so I'm adding a little bit of grey and I'm going to be painting it with the grey and unfortunately I still missed it off camera but when you get to see it later on, you'll see that it's uh, like a little cylinder thing on the the back left-hand corner of the uh, tank. So, there's not a lot left I want to do for the moment for the main colouring. But what I've decided I'm going to do is paint the rivets. Now, I did it round the viewing hatch at the front, but then I realised that they've been painted over when they put the camouflage on. So I've got a little bit of water on the brush, washed it over the top and wiped it off. So now we're getting a little bit of uh, metallic black. I'm painting these little, what look like grills on the side. I don't know what they are, but I'm doing them as metallic black. Uh, metallic black. And any more? Nope. So going on from metallic black, now we're finished with that. And we're just using normal black. This is just a flat matte black. And into that we're going to be mixing some of the grey. Because we don't want it as light grey, but we don't want it black. We just want it like a, a dark grey. And uh, with this dark grey we're going to be painting all the tracks. Now make sure you get all the indents and everything. We do not, you know, get, get the paint into all the crooks and nannies. We definitely do not want to leave any of this, um, any of this track unpainted. There may be areas that you won't get to, won't be able to get to, but don't worry about those areas because the 
um, shirts and on the side will um, actually cover and you won't see it anyway especially when you're playing the game about however many inches or so away you're going to be from it you're just standing looking down on the table that sort of thing doesn't worry me but I'm getting where I can get so while we're at this point um, I just want to say if you've enjoyed the video give it a like um, subscribe if you wish and don't forget to join our patreon um, there is a link in the description bar to get to this patreon page I don't think I've actually set it up properly as I wanted it but um, there's nothing really much on there at the moment but um, go on if you want to help help me out in making these videos and keep me making these videos then pop over to patreon and have a look and uh, every little helps as they say I'm being designed like Tesco aren't I and I have decided when I come back to this that I'm going to drill out the gun barrel I forgot to do it before and um, but I have put a little bit of this black or dark grey colour on the gun, gun barrel at the very end of it um, just to show a little bit of soot and now we're using a dark wash from Hermit Painter and we're going over any of the little crevices that we think we could make stand out a little bit more put some more depth into it and make it a lot we'll give it a lot, bit more contrast in the um, shadowy areas and just try and bring out some of the the raised areas on it by filling in some of the um, recesses which is always a good idea when you're doing models otherwise it looks uh, quite flat so this is basically what we're doing over and over any panels that we can see we're going through the panels uh, on the edges of the sheets of shirts and on the side of the tank we've done that around the little access panels on the back and anywhere there is a little recess we'll give it some of this um, and I'm also putting a few, a few, one or two odd dabs of it on um, on the actual bodywork as well just to give, make it look as though it's been it's seen some action and I'm covering all the wheels and when I mean all the wheels there are two wheels attached to the side of the tank just behind the top of the shirt sun where the turret would be um, I've not forgotten to do those um, but I just want them to look a little bit darker than the um, as you can see though you might you can see one of the wheels um, I'm also going over the machine gun um, yeah, but uh, as I was saying, you'll get to see it finished very soon. But this is all we can do for this uh, this part of the video. Until those decal sheets arrive, I can't really do much else. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed. Re I really enjoyed painting this um, and doing the camouflage patterns and everything, and picking out all the details as we're doing now. Um, so if you've enjoyed it, I so said, don't forget to like subscribe if you want and if, if you're a long time for, uh, viewer and please join our patreon group well that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it stay safe and take care god bless and bye for now